In this video, I'm going to show you how to cut and thread black iron pipe. When you're plumbing your compressor in with black iron pipe, you're going to need something to hold the black iron pipe to cut it and to thread it. You're also going to want to get a cutter, a pipe threader, as well as some oil, especially when you're threading the pipe. In order to cut the pipe to length, you're going to need to slide your cutter over the pipe, tighten the blade down to the spot you want to cut the pipe, and then start spinning it. You're gonna keep spinning it until there's little to no resistance, then tighten the blade in more and spin it again. You're gonna continue repeating that process of tightening and spinning until the blade cuts through the pipe. It'll take quite a few times, but eventually it'll cut right through the pipe, dropping the end piece off. Gotta put some pressure in when you're getting the thread started. When you first start threading it, you have to push hard in the center in order to get the teeth to grab into the pipe to start cutting the threads. Once you get it started, you'll want to add some cutting oil to help with heat and friction while the dye is cutting the threads into the pipe. Lubricating with cutting oil throughout the process can help give you cleaner threads, prevent damage, and extend the life of the tool. That should make the job go smoother and come out with a cleaner finish. I always use cutting oil anytime I'm cutting threads like this, as well as when I'm drilling and tapping. It can be a bit repetitive and require more pressure at times, but just keep repeating the process and threading it on. Once the threads are cut, all you have to do is flip the switch on the ratchet and start unthreading it by spinning it counterclockwise. You'll want to spin it off enough to be able to disconnect the tool, then spin the rest off by hand. And there you go, you're finished. After that, you're left with a nice, clean, perfectly threaded pipe. Then you can just repeat this process by cutting and threading the pipe for any length or size you need. Check out my other videos to see how I built and installed my air compressor setup. I have a lot of good ones out there.